What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install Permissions X and how to configure it on your Apex Minecraft server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. On a variety of servers, you may notice that each player is given a set of ranks. Whether they're static or new ones, these ranks can be configured to give custom permissions, allowing a difference between staff members or normal players. In order to achieve this yourself, you're going to need a permissions plugin such as Permissions X. Whether you're creating the ranks through the file directly or using in-game commands, you can completely customize each rank to have different abilities. With Apex hosting, installing Permissions X is super easy to do, so we're going to guide you through every step of the way. Keep in mind that in order for prefixes and suffixes to appear in the chat, you're going to need to have Vault on your server and a chat plugin such as Essentials X. In the description of this video, we're going to link to this page. This is the Permissions X GitHub page. From here, go ahead and select the jar asset under the desired release. Once you click on that and download it, make sure to save that to a folder you can easily locate later on, something like your desktop or a folder you made just for this. Once you've got that downloaded and saved to a folder, go ahead and jump to your Apex server panel and stop your server. When your servers come fully offline, then you can go ahead and scroll down to the jar file selection and be sure that you're running something like paper that can run plugins. If you're already running it, awesome, but if not, go ahead and click on it and either type in paper or scroll up or down to find a paper jar that of course is compatible with Permissions X. Then go ahead and click on FTP file access on the left hand side of the page. Log in with your information and then click into the plugins folder once you've loaded in. In the plugins folder, go ahead and click on upload at the top left. And now click on that folder that you downloaded permissions to earlier and then simply drag and drop the PEX jar file in to the right hand side of the page. And then once you're done, click on the server name at the top and return to the main page to restart your server. If everything went correctly, your server should turn fully online once it starts up. In end game, you should be able to type slash plugins or PL and PEX should show up. It should be listed when you hit enter. Now that Permissions X is installed and loaded up, you can start with a few ranks. Access to the console is required for these first commands. We're going to go ahead and make our first rank. You can do this by creating an admin rank to use in-game. In the console, go ahead and type in PEX space group space capital A admin space create. Once you've made that, go ahead and type in PEX space group space capital A admin space add space permissions period and then the star symbol. When you hit enter, this is going to give all permissions to that rank, which is typically what you want for an admin or an owner position. Now, go ahead and Type in PEX space user space the Minecraft username of the player that you'd like to add to this rank. So if it's you, go ahead and type PEX space user space your gamer tag space group space set space and then capital A admin. And when you hit enter, this will add you or your intended user as admin to your server. Now that you've got your rank, it's time to use any admin commands that you want in game. Here are a few other commands that can be further used to customize your ranks. Our first command is going to be quite possibly 
the most useful one and we're going to go ahead and set our rank to be the most important one on the server or the one with the most weight. This command is going to be slash P-E-X space group space capital A admin space set space rank space one. If you just want to make a moderator rank, you may want to set the rank to 100 as it's less important. The next one we're going to go over is going to be prefixes. This is going to set a prefix before you talk in chat. The command is going to be in the in-game console slash PEX space group space capital A admin space prefix space and then you're going to take the opportunity to type in whatever color codes you'd like. So if you want parentheses to be black, then you're going to go ahead and type ampersand O and then a left parentheses and then whatever color you would like the color of your rank to be, you would type in ampersand. Let's say we want it to be four. We would do ampersand four, then capital A admin and then ampersand zero for the right parentheses to make it black. These ampersands represent color codes. There's tons of websites online that you could find just with a quick Google search so you can get familiar with each color code for this. And then you customize it to your heart's content. But of course, we are going to link one of our favorites in the description of this video. If you have a plugin like Essentials X, Luck Perms, or anything else similar to adding permissions, you can customize each rank's abilities with other plugin permissions. So if we have a mod and we want to add flight from, let's say, Essentials X, we could use this command. P-E-X space group space capital M O D mod space A D D space essentials dot fly. And then when you hit enter, this is going to have a flight ability for whatever group you added it to. Now we're going to get into managing our configuration file. Certain players prefer to edit the file directly whether it's to see the exact changes or if the commands aren't working as expected. Please keep in mind that some of this stuff is more for advanced users. To find this file, you're going to need to stop your server first before making any changes to your server. Then click on config files to the left. From here, you're going to get a bunch of different YML files, which are editable text files. Go ahead and find the permissions.yml and open that up. Before making any changes to the file, we recommend copying and pasting the existing text to a notepad app or a backup of this file. If you're looking at the unedited file, only the default group is going to be present. We recommend copying and pasting the default group that we have on our website. That, of course, is going to be found in the links in the description of this video. We recommend it because it's going to make formatting easy. For example, here's our admin group. It might look confusing, so we're going to break down the parts so that you can have a better understanding. For the admin, that's the name of the group. So under groups, you have admin. This can be renamed anything you desire, and it doesn't have to be admin. It could be owner or god or notch or something silly it could be anything you want really but for this example we're going to use the head honcho and we're going to make that admin and then under admin you can see what permissions each rank has in this example they have permissions not star so this gives every command across every plugin so that you can do essentials not star and that'll give you essentials and so on and so forth. Then under permissions, you have options. And then under options, you have rank. And rank is for the importance of the group. The lower the number, the more important. So rank one would be the most important rank on the server. And then for prefixes, well, these appear in game. This is given to players 
in chat, which of course is going to appear before their name. And as you can see, it has these color codes that we mentioned earlier that we've gotten from a website online. After creating your first rank, you should have access to every command in game, allowing you to create as many things as you want. We recommend creating an additional member, VIP, and mod group. Although you can create as many as you wish to create or don't want to. All this information can be found in their official documentation and they have a lot of it and it goes really in depth. We're going to go over certain commands regardless. PEX has a huge variety of commands so we're going to go over important user and mod commands for a full list, consider checking their official documentation. A quick note before we go over stuff, is anything in brackets or any sort of username stuff is for you to fill out. This can be with color codes, this can be with different gamers, this can be whatever you want it to be. Slash pex space user space username space group set and then a specific group is going to set the user groups. This will remove the user from any other groups that they are a member of. So this will make sure that the user is only set to the specific group that you choose. Slash pex space user space username space group space remove. And then the specific name of the group is going to remove this user from a group. And if you want to set a prefix for one of these groups, what you can type in is slash pex space group space the name of the group space prefix space and then name the prefix. And then for creating your group, we're going to want to type in slash pex space group space group name space create. And then for this one, you're going to want to go ahead and name it something new since you're making a group. On the other hand, if you want to go ahead and get rid of a group, slash pex, space group, space group name, space delete, is going to delete a group. Let's go ahead and set parents for our moderator group. Maybe you want moderators to inherit administrator privileges, or maybe you want a certain parent for your own group that you make. The command for this is going to be slash pex, space group, space admin, space parents, space set, space, and then moderator. This is just going to make the admin group the parent group for the moderator group. And now we're going to go over some common issues that may occur after this process or during this process. If your prefixes in chat aren't appearing when you type or when anybody else types, the main cause for this is not having the required plugins that make them appear in chat. Make sure that you have Essentials X, Vault, and Essentials X Chat. Once these are added, prefixes should appear after a restart. Another common issue that may occur is the permissions not working after creating the file. Oftentimes, this means that there's an issue with the file format causing it to not work we recommend using a YML validator and pasting the entire config in to check for errors. You can edit the config directly through the website until it's correct and just paste it back into the panel editor. Permissions X is an excellent way to add ranks and permissions to your Minecraft server. With this plugin, you can create a hierarchy on your server, add rank specific owners, set people to administrator, and much, much more. Permissions are one of the hardest parts of developing your server. However, as long as you get the general format or are careful with making your groups and permissions, you should be able to do it with ease. Make sure that when you're configuring this plugin that you're super careful to use the correct formats shown in this. Failure to do so is going to cause the plugin to not work. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. 
Until next time, gamers.